What's going on guys, No Slack Novak here with another episode of our Ostriv Let's Play series. Now, if you guys have been following, we've been doing absolutely awesome. The only complaint that I have is that we need more workers. We need more people moving into our village, which, if you can see off over here in the background, actually it looks like somebody might be moving in. There is a wagon coming in. Now, it could be a trader, it could be a new family, which I don't think it's a new family, actually. Because we haven't, uh, we haven't finished our houses, because like I was saying, off here in the distance, you can kind of see a house being built. Almost done. If we come over here, uh, we are working on three houses. That's going to allow three families to move into Slackville. And it's going to give us more people to do some laboring work and to do some, uh, some actual construction around here. Which is something that we desperately, desperately need right now. So, let's go ahead and fast forward. It looks like it's definitely a wagon coming in with some sort of supplies. And then we have a wagon coming out too. So hopefully 342. That's how much money we have right now. 342. Hopefully that goes up. Uh, maybe it'll go up once uh, that wagon gets to its destination. I'm really not sure. Uh, but let's see. Let's check out the market. We still have plenty of uh, potatoes and flour over here, which is something that I think we were trading. If we check out the map, we do have a deal here with uh, Balaklia. We're exporting potatoes. So far, we've exported two of 16. So we have gotten $16 out of a potential 128. So we should be making some income off of that. Now, we don't have any deals over here with Merefa. And then Derhachi, again, no deals there. So really, Balaklia is the only, uh, the only town that we're actively trading with. Now, what was that? Well, that was potatoes, right? Um, yes. 2 of 16. Now, if we click on the trading post here, we still have 5 potatoes over here. So we should be good. We should be able to, uh, to fill that need. But again, like our number one priority right now is getting these houses built. This is numero uno um, prioritio. And then hopefully these guys aren't starving either because we should have, yeah, we do. Market stalls, there's plenty of food there. Flour, potatoes, very little fish. Do we have, how many people do we have working over here? Just two, only two fishermen. Um, that's something that's also going to need to change. I think once we get these three houses constructed, uh, we're going to probably want to build another fishing dock just to get some more fish coming in here. But right now, this is our number one priority. Looking for builders. Okay, well, come on, guys. Somebody. We need somebody to build this house. Dropping off some very important supplies. That's excellent. But we need somebody to come over here. There we go. Thank you very much, Yaroslav. Thank you very much. That house should be built, and we should have a family moving in. Beautiful father and mother. Paimon, Oksana, beautiful. They have a daughter, two-year-old daughter. Excellent. They are going to be moving in here right there. I think that's them. Welcome to Slackville, guys. Thank you for, uh, thank you for stopping by. Now, we don't want to sign any jobs for them right now because we want them to come over here and actually do some of this work over here. Now, we do have a messenger from Merefa. They are offering us hemp and wheat. We don't want either one, guys. We really don't want either one. And we don't want to give you any sunflower oil or sunflowers because, well, we don't have any. That's just not something that we're producing at this time. And I don't think it's something that we're going to produce anytime soon either. Now, this field over here is being fallowed. Um, but as we can see, the nutrients are looking pretty good. So next season, we'll be definitely be able to do these potatoes. And then let's see, the season after that, I think uh, if we're doing potatoes, I think we're going to be able to do, uh, we should be able to do the wheat the year after that. And then you know what, I really, I really do want to get a freaking plow in here as soon as possible. Uh, because it's going to allow us to, uh, to produce even more um, on these three fields. So if we're going to do the, uh, the plow, we're going to have to get a carpenter. And I know that I said we didn't want to really assign any jobs right now because we're already lacking um, available workers for the jobs that we already have kind of assigned. But the carpenter is of the utmost importance right now, I feel like. So why don't we put in the carpenter over here somewhere. 
Uh, I feel like this is as good of a place as any to really put one down. And we could maybe do something like like this. I feel like that'll kind of fit um, how things are looking right now. Now, yeah, I still think the houses are more important. So we're going to leave him in the third slot here uh, in our queue. Not going to try to rush that too much. Um, let's go ahead. We should be able to get these houses built here hopefully soon. Hopefully. We do have laborers delivering stuff, so that's excellent. Uh, clay has been delivered. We're waiting on a little bit of wood. Looks like these guys are using the carts, so that's excellent. We probably would want even more. Just need a builder to show up and actually finish out this house. Or actually just get started on it, you know? Are you going to come over here and work on it? No, you're going to go back home and rest and relax, apparently. And as soon as I say that, we are in wintertime. Absolutely awesome. Now, I'm thinking, how are we looking on wood? We do have 212, so you know what? Let's fire those two guys. Uh, we don't have a smithy, but we don't need one. We have plenty of nails. Uh, nobody's in the town hall. We have somebody working in the granary, which we, we have to have somebody work in the granary. Um, supplying it with our food. Um, we do have three workers over here in the trading post. That's also important, though. You know what? Let's get rid of one. And then I'm thinking, how are we looking over here? We have seven. Meaning somebody died and it looks like it was our newborn cow Because we did have five cows and it looks like the newborn one died Which I'm kind of curious as to see why the cow died Because we do have hay in stock. We do have water in stock. So why the heck would the cow die? Now that just doesn't make sense and you know what we could actually hire more workers over here No, I want to hire a woman because the woman, um, there we go, four women. So that's going to give them jobs. Excellent. They're going to be able to get more money. Then they're going to be able to buy some more food. They're going to be able to actually pay their rent. Uh, so all that is going to be good for us. All that is going to be good. Now let's get this house built here. And I really wish women could be laborers, but apparently they can't. But you know what? It seems like we're fine. We have the two laborers working on this house. We have the one worker. Just need you guys to actually finish constructing this. And that's going to bring us in another family uh, that, you know, will help us build this, this other house over here, hopefully. And then, uh, you know, we're probably going to need even more than that, though. You know what? Let's do a little bit of, um, let's do a little bit of a head count. So over here, we're going to need, well, we want three. We want three people working there. So three Let's go with seven. So, well, that's four, right? So three, we're going to want four over here. That's going to be seven. Uh, we're not going to count that because that's women's job. So let's see, seven, um, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Uh, we don't need anybody uh, here. So 12, 13, 14 for the windmill, which we can actually go ahead and fire them. So that's going to be 14. We don't want any men working here. So we want 14 men. We want 14 men working our actual jobs. And then we're going to want some more to actually do like the laboring and the hauling, right? So 14 men. As of right now, we have 15. Um, so something just doesn't fit. Um, along with when they take their breaks, you know, because they don't work 24 hours a day. They take breaks. So that makes sense. Uh, so right now we need pretty much, let's say 14, let's do that like one and a half times. So we need 21 men. We need 21 men to have all of our male jobs kind of stocked all at once. And then once we add in the, uh, the carpenter, that's going to be another one. So let's just say 22. We're going to want 21 men to fulfill all of our jobs. Now let's kind of keep track of the ladies. Uh, listen, look, there's a guy working right there. Bordislav, let that little woman do that job. Women working there. Okay, so that's two women that are going to be working that. Um, you, stop. We, that's a woman's job. There we go. So two. Um, that's going to be six. Uh, the farm, that's going to be 11, right? Six plus five is 11. Plus the manager, that's 12. Um, which, you know what? I think I actually didn't count the manager over here. Anyway, so that's 12 so far. Um, 12, 13, and then 14 because of our market stalls. 
So that's 14 there. So essentially we want like 22, 23-ish, 22 or 23 families living here just to be able to do all the work around here that needs to be done. Um, right now, so I said 22 or 23. Right now we have 15. Uh, so we need to pretty much build eight more houses. That's what that tells me. One just got built. So I'm thinking seven more houses. This one here is getting built. So I'm, I'm thinking six. So you know what? Why don't we build another row of houses here directly behind these guys? And that should give us the um, that should give us like the population that we're gonna need to have a successful um, village running, like consistently running. Um, let's make sure that we do this. Make it nice and pretty, nice and straight. We could probably do a little bit more of a rotation. Um, <laughs> you know what? That might be good enough. Might be good enough. Let's do that. You know what? Why not? Uh, another house over here. Mm, bam. And bam and bam and two more we're gonna want two more so let's do something like that and then just one more house over here on the end of the block and that is gonna be good once all that is constructed then I feel like we're gonna have enough manpower to kind of have everything stocked for the rest of the, uh, the time that we need to and then obviously as we build more and more we are going to need to get more and more houses. But once all this is constructed, then I think we'll be fully operational. Fully stocked, fully operational with solid, solid manpower. Because people aren't always working. I mean, you can see people coming over here to the well, getting some water. People obviously have to go buy their groceries. Um, people have to work on the farm, collecting this stuff over here. So I think this will be a, a, a solid amount of population to kind of keep our town running. Um, we've got two workers over here, which obviously they can't fish in the winter time. So let's go ahead and fire them for now. Because I don't know, I, I really wish, since they can't do anything in the winter time, why are they just hanging out on the fishing dock? Why don't they actually go out there and be productive and actually do some work around here? Um, which we don't have anybody working at the forestry, which I understand that. But right now I feel like we don't need the uh, the wood. Laborers are getting resources on site. Excellent. We are obviously going to need to need. Uh, we're going to need more wood, right? Because there's no way we have enough of a supply of wood to build all these houses. Um, but we do want to get these houses built as soon as possible. And once they do, at least these two, we'll kind of focus on these two. And then once those two, then uh, that's going to move in two men, and then those two men can go and actually work on the uh, the forestry jobs. But it looks like this episode is primarily going to be on um, improving our population. Now, I'm thinking we have eight over here. Does that mean what I think it means? A newborn bull. Excellent. Hopefully it doesn't get slaughtered. <laughs> Hopefully. Uh, and also our carpentry is done over here. So let's hire a worker there. And then we are going to want to get a plow into this farm. So let's order a plow. The carpenter should work. Uh, start working on that. Uh, he's going to need the two animals. So as you can see over here, he just brought in one. And I think uh, he's going to come over here and bring in another ox. Yeah, because we did have... I think we had one ox. And we have two bulls. So let's watch him come over here to the cow shed. I'm pretty sure he's going to collect another one. Yes, he did. Okay, good, good, good. So he's going to bring that over there, and now he should start working on that wagon. He's got the two animals. Probably going to go maybe grab some wood or something. And then, you know what? Speaking of wood, I really do think that we're kind of uh, running short on wood. Uh, yeah, 30. So let's hire two more workers over here for the forestry. We need to get some more wood coming in here. Good, good, good. They have plenty of logs over here, so they should be able to produce the wood pretty quickly. And then this guy is going to be able to work on the plow, right? Where is he? 
Borislav. Oh, he's resting. Okay, now he's going to work. All right, come on, go and work. And start working on this plow, please. Grabbing some wood. Bringing that into his little carpentry factory. And here we... No, not yet. Oh, he needs more wood? All right, apparently need, what, 15 wood? Is he taking a break again? Yeah, he's taking another rest. <laughs> And this is why you want more than one worker working in these buildings, because they take a lot of rests. All right. You done with your rest? Can you start constructing, please? Now you need to get even more wood? Jeez, you know what? Let's get another worker in here. Oh, now you're working on it. Fine, let's get rid of that worker. Now you're working on the plow. Excellent. That should be done very soon. Like right now. You've got the two. Bring that over, please. Bring that over to the farm. He's resting again. Jesus. All right. Let's get another worker in here. Come over here and bring that to the farm, please. There we go. All right. That's getting brought over to the farm. Excellent. And then they are going to be able to use this for the actual fields, which that is something that they should be able to do here pretty soon. Now, this is being fallowed. This is also being fallowed. And then this is going to be potatoes. Uh, and they've already, oh man, they already started sowing it. No, so they're not going to be able to do that for this year. Uh, but you know what? That's fine. That's fine. We, uh, it's, it's not super duper important, at least not this year. Now, it looks like all of our carts here are gone. So let's go ahead and, uh, ahead and order another cart. So that's another job that's going to, uh, be here for the carpenter. So let's give him another worker. They'll be able to get that knocked out twice as fast. There we go, awaiting some more wood, knock that out, the cart is being done, beautiful, 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 and the cart's being delivered, excellent. Now, we could definitely actually get rid of one of these workers, now you are working, now you're taking a rest, so perfect time to fire you while you're taking a rest, and now we have, see we have a fourth cart here, and those are being used pretty heavily now, it looks like. How are we looking on the, uh, the housing situation? So we do have the two houses built over here. Good, good, good. The females are unemployed. So that could become an issue for us. But at least these houses over here are being constructed. That's excellent. That's super, super important for us. How are we looking over here? Now we were at eight. Now we're down to six because they did take those two, um, two ox to go do the plow work. So we have the two bulls. We have the four cows. Hopefully they'll be able to kind of produce. Um, they'll be able to produce some more babies. And then why do we not have any milk? Probably just need some more cows, huh? Because right now it does it just doesn't look like they're really producing too much milk. Do we have, do we happen to have any, um, oh, you know what? We need the hemp. We need the clothing. Uh, in our granary. We don't have any milk in the granary. Are we selling any milk over here in the, the market stalls? Nothing there. Nothing there. How about these two? Um, it's awaiting a little bit of milk. Uh, over here, no milk. So milk is sparse right now. Hmm. Milk is definitely sparse. How are we looking? You know what? Let's get some more fishermen in here. I feel like we could do three. I feel like uh, we our population increased enough to where we could definitely do three. Now, a family is out of money. Which family? Um, this house over here. Okay, so wealth is at 0 0.18. The father is working at the trading post and the mother is working at the cow shed. So they shouldn't be out of money. And we do have a messenger from Marefa here. So I'm thinking Marefa, here we go. They're offering us hemp and wheat and they're demanding some. It's the same offers over and over. We don't have any sunflower oils or sunflowers. So stop demanding it, please. Now, we definitely don't need hemp because we have absolute, a, a buttload of hemp. We have 47.6, um, which we really should start, you know, making clothes and maybe shoes out of that. Um, we'll start working on that here soon. Now, what was I doing? We have the three fishermen over here, right, grabbing us some more food, hopefully. 
So somebody quit apparently. They're hiring somebody else. We do have the two workers over here kind of keeping this stocked up. Doesn't look like anybody's really buying the wood. So I'm thinking we could just throw that away. I don't think anybody's really buying the fish either. So we're going to throw that away. It looks like really our only uh, resources that we're able to sell right now is I think wheat and potatoes. I don't even think anybody's really buying the flour. Um, but you know what? I think it might be time to get an actual tailor in here too. Um, a tailor's workshop. It produces clothes from textile, which we don't have textile. Uh, however, uh, a weaver's workshop is going to produce textile from hemp. That is going to be pretty important. And I think we should probably build a little bit of a... Uh, we should probably build that over here. Um, because we do want a little bit of like work, you know, like maybe commercial area over here. Now let's see, if we build this over here, we could do something like that. Um, let's see, we could maybe rotate that. Uh, that looks decent. We'll build that over there. And then once that gets built, we're going to want that, uh, oh, we need a shoemaker. Oh, shoemaker's workshop. And then we need a tannery too, because that's going to produce leather from hides. There's just so much to do here. And then slaughterhouse produces meat and hides from animals. You know what? I, I feel like we want to do another trade. Um, let's go ahead. Let's send somebody else over here to Balaklia. Uh, send a messenger over there. We want to buy some more cows. Uh, we might buy some more bulls too. Uh, we do have seven, so we have three bulls now. A new, uh, Another newborn bull. Yeah, we definitely want to get some more cows in here. See, we had two newborns. See, this bull is three months. This bull here is newborn. We have a two-year-old bull. We definitely want to get some more cows in here. Start producing some more of them. And then once we do produce plenty of them, then we're going to be able to... Um, we're going to be able to kind of do the slaughterhouse. So let's see. They're offering flour, cows, and iron. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to accept, I think, let's do maybe six cows, no oxen, um, no bulls. So we'll do we'll do this one just because I want to make sure that they actually bring us the six. So we're gonna do six cows. That's gonna cost sixty, and then we are gonna go ahead. We're gonna give them potatoes. Um, let's give them. We'll we'll do the deal for like fourteen potatoes. That's gonna be hundred and twelve. So we're gonna make money off of that. That's gonna be a more than fair trade. Now, do we have enough potatoes? Um, we might not. Hemp, hay, and water is all we have there. We are producing potatoes now, though. They're, 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 the growth is a little bit more than halfway, so we're going to start harvesting those pretty soon. In our granary, we do have 7.58 potatoes, and then over here in the trading post, we have 9. So I think we'll be able to fulfill that deal. I think we'll be able to. Um, let's kind of maybe babysit this a little bit. We haven't exported anything yet. Oh, 14, okay. We haven't exported it, and they haven't imported those cows which I believe they're going to come from over here somewhere. Um, I'm not going to sit around just waiting for them to show up, though. Uh, our houses are being constructed over here. We've got the Weaver's Workshop over here. Um, that is going to have to wait until all this is done, though. Oh, here we go. Is that our is that our supply? I think that is. Look at that. That's all of our cows. Our new cows are coming in, guys. <laughs> There you go, marching on down. That's going to cost us. So right now we have $417. And once those cows get delivered, uh, that's going to take up, yep, see, look at that, 356 now. And then are they going to send them out here? Are they going to send them into the field? I mean, do we, we have room for them, right? Why are they out there and the other ones aren't? We don't want to slaughter them or anything like that. We do have 13 now in stock. Cow, one year, one year, one year. Bull, four months, one month. Yeah, I mean, we're looking good. I'm kind of thinking they should be out here, though. Uh, with the rest of the cows and the bulls in, in the actual pasture. Huh, kind of interesting. I wonder why they're in the cow shed. Hmm. 
Anyways, we'll leave that alone. What's going on over here? How's our trade looking? Uh, we have exported seven potatoes already, so excellent. Uh, we've gotten some money back. We're back in the 400s. Uh, we're halfway done there. We've got 56 more bucks coming in here eventually. Now, another family is out of money. Um, you guys are working. Uh, the labor, the father is a laborer, and the, uh, the mother is working at the cow shed. So you guys should definitely have some money. Your wealth is going back up, so that's excellent. And you guys don't really have any food either. You've got firewood. Uh, you don't have potatoes. You have water. You don't have milk or fish. Interesting. And now the father's back to being unemployed. Um, all right. You know what I think we're going to do? Let us... How are we looking on fish? We don't have any fish in the trading post, which is good. Is it in the granary? We have 2.1 fish there. Market, we have 0.93. Market over here, one fish. And then in our two little markets over here, we've got 0.9 and 0.99. So there, there's fish to be bought. There is definitely fish to be bought. They probably just need the money. Why don't we, since, uh, what's the stall here? Can't find nails anywhere. Okay, so we need to get uh, a smithy again working over here. Making some nails for us. That's another job that's open up, opened up for you guys. Um, 13 still, still not out here in the pasture. Interesting. Um, we do have a little bit of milk being produced. Hay, water is there. Interesting. What's the, oh, wait, hold on. Does that say livestock limit 20? Okay. So we can limit, we can have 20 livestock. Currently we have 14. Um, we might have to build a shed, another cow shed eventually, but we're looking good on hay. We have plenty of hay. Um, I'm thinking we probably, and look, a family is out of food. Why are you guys out of food? You have, you have some wealth. Hopefully they don't move out. Aunt Anton and Natalia, I really hope they don't move out. They have firewood, they have water. Um, they both have jobs. They should be able to buy food. They are going to grab some flour, apparently. Awaiting 0 0.1 flour. Oh man, I hope they don't move out on us. We're trying to get our population increased, not decreased. Okay, they do have some flour now, so that's excellent. They, so hopefully, you'll, but you know what, now they're out of money again. It's a fine balance. It's a fine balance. Maybe we need to... Um, you know what, let's come over here. We're going to go into our town hall. Now let's go ahead and make... Let's increase the wages a little bit. We'll do like 2.2 and we'll actually lower the, uh, the market products price by 10%. Because I'm a generous guy. I don't want anybody to move out. I don't want anybody to starve. Family is out of money again. It's the same family. 0.74 now because Anton is unemployed. Um, okay. So you know what? Why don't we hire a fourth worker over here on the fishing dock? And then I'm thinking, why don't we... Let, let's just build another fishing dock. Um, we will build another fishing dock right here. Can we build one somewhere... You know what? Uneven terrain, inaccessible, inaccessible. That's too far away. You know, we'll build another fishing dock over here. Ah, uh, all right. Potatoes are at least coming in, so that's going to be able to feed us for for a little while. And then we're not producing any uh, meat because family. It's the same family. Same family. We're not producing any meat because we don't have the slaughterhouse. And we do not yet have the full 20 uh, livestock limit. Once we do get to the limit, then we will want to be uh, uh, able to slaughter some of these cows. And actually, uh, you know, they're going to produce some meat for us. Um, I do want to get this fishing dock done up here. But again, I think we're going to just uh, build out the rest of the village here first. Um, that is almost done. 
this house here is almost done and then this one here should be able to get all the resources uh, brought over pretty quickly uh, because we do have a decent amount of laborers knock this out guys knock this out please and then we should also have the um, this fields should be allowed uh, to let's see we're gonna make this wheat and we're gonna make this wheat as well we definitely want to have a lot more wheat because the wheat is gonna produce the flour and then let's see we could put a, a worker over here uh, because the wheat gets milled into flour right um, they should be using the um, it's September that okay so they, they just harvested everything too so next year they should definitely use this plow that we have um, that is definitely something that they should do and this house needs to be done at least they started okay this house is gonna be done now excellent people are gonna move in they do have a little bit of wealth how is this family looking negative 0.5 wealth at least they have a little bit of food they have some flour they have some potato that is going bye bye pretty quick though uh, this family moved in they have a little bit of wealth and the father is working on construction of the village house so he is earning a little bit of money the um, the mother doesn't though mother is unemployed mother is unemployed you know what let's come over here to our town hall and let's check out the population the women are unemployed 36 percent of the women in our town are unemployed that is not good um how can we fix that what can we do here you know maybe it's time to do another farm or something maybe let's do oh man we don't need a thatchery we don't need a smithy we don't need a carpenter the uh, the weaver is gonna be built where is that right here uh the weaver's workshop is gonna be built right there um, we do have this one getting worked on that should be done relatively quick Family is out of money. I'm pretty sure it's these guys. No, it's somebody else. No, it is them It is them Hopefully, you know what? I want you guys to make it. I really do we lowered we lowered the uh, the cost of food for you guys And we also increased the wages for everybody because of you guys So, you know, don't be causing this problems. You're, you're both employed now. So you guys should be making money uh, this house here is going to be done soon. The Weaver's Workshop should be done soon. And you know what? Let's check this out. Trading Post. We do have uh, plenty of potatoes there too. So why don't we do another deal over here? Uh, we're going to send the messenger for 30. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to sell them some more potatoes. Now another family is out of money. Same family. Same family. As they buy food, they're right back to being out of money. This is going to be the last house that we build for a little while. Uh, last house we build there. Hopefully this is going to be a job for women. Uh, the Weaver's Workshop. Because we do need to get our women uh, employed. Messenger arrived. They want to offer us flour, cows, and iron. They demand potatoes. Let's go ahead and sell them the potatoes. We will do... We'll do 14. You know what? Let's do... Can we do 20? Let's do 20. 160. That's going to net us. Absolutely. 160. I think we do have it over here in the farm. Um, potatoes we have 19.8 so pretty much all those are gonna be uh, shipped off in that trade and we're still gonna have more than enough we'll have about 11 enough uh, plus whatever's in the granary and all that stuff so stored nails 19 you know what we're probably gonna need some more iron too though um, where oh where uh, where's our storage do we not have anything in storage right now Oh, you have the last of the iron. Okay, we definitely need to do a trade for iron. Um, I'm not sure. I don't remember who that was. Um, well, let's go ahead. Do you guys? Yeah, okay, iron. Let's let's buy some iron from you. Um, we want to buy... Let's buy five. Five more iron. Deal. Beautiful. We'll make that deal. Still making money off of that, right? Because we're selling them 20 potatoes. Getting a nice chunk of change from that. This house here is going to be done here very soon. The Weaver's Workshop is going to be done pretty soon as well. I want to see who we can employ at the Weaver's Workshop. If it's going to be a woman, uh, women's job or if it's going to be a male job. And then once we kind of figure that out, I think we're going to see the end of the episode come up. 
Come on, guys. Finish working on this house. Family out of money. Of course, it's the same, same family. The Bedrier fa uh, family. Um, but they do have fish. They do have milk. They do have potato. They do have flour. So hopefully that'll last them for a little while. At least until they can um, earn some more money. Now, we are going to be building another fishing dock over here. That's going to take a little while. Um, they're going to have to finish on this house first. Come on, guys. Knock this stuff out. Laborers are getting resources on site. Yeah, that is quite a... a still a, a, a long trek to bring all the wood and everything. We should probably build another forester, like, over here somewhere. Unfortunately, I mean, we do have a pretty large forest over here. But that's, that's about the same distance, though. I mean, that might be even further. Um, we could build a forestry over here, though. And that'll kind of cut down on some time. Um, we could do that. We could. I'm not going to say that we are going to do that, though. Okay, so this house is done. People did move in. They're unemployed. But that's fine. Because that should just mean that they can come over here and start working on this. A weaver's workshop is going to be done. Weaver's workshop is going to be done. Come on, man. We should have plenty of workers coming over here doing this. Laborers are getting the resources on the site. Come on. Um, Less. Needs you to bring those resources over here just a little bit faster, buddy. Workers are going to knock that out. Excellent. Oh. <laughs> All right. Pimon. Come on, buddy. Bring these resources over. Excellent. He's working. He's bringing them over. And once he does bring them over, we should be able to finish construction on the Weaver's Workshop. Finally. There it is. Beautiful. Done. All right. Let's go ahead and hire. Uh, you know what? We're going to hire all four. Why not? Give them some money. That way, maybe uh, we won't have everybody always... Um, and you know what? It's not. The iron is not over here. Okay. Well, you know what? Offers. We don't want any of that stuff. They demand wheat and shoes. Do we have wheat to sell? I think we do. Um, 6.5 over there. And we do not have any wheat right there. And we don't have any wheat in the granary. So you know what? I don't think we're going to... Yeah, well, I guess we could. Um, let's go ahead. We're going to sell the 6.5. Let's slow down a little bit. We're going to sell the six, six, we'll sell six of the wheat. And then once that is sold, I think we're going to actually cancel uh, export of wheat. I feel like we're going to want to uh, hold on to our wheat for a little bit, just so that nobody goes hungry in our town. We might be selling a little bit too much of our food, of our supply of food. So once that happens... Uh, we're going to kind of leave that alone. Now, what's going on over here? We are producing textile. We do have the four women working over here. That's excellent. Um, we're going to produce plenty of textile because we do have plenty of hemp, right? We have 47.6 units of hemp. That's going to be able to make plenty of textile, I feel like. Production limit, textile, five. Hmm. Are we at the limit? Is the textile being brought to the granary? No. Where do they bring the textile? Anywhere? Nothing ordered. Let's go ahead and get rid of that worker then. Now, in the smithy, we have 360 nails. Let's go ahead and get uh, rid of that worker. Forestry. Um, no, we're not going to hire more forestry workers. We are going to hire more. You know, we need to hire somebody over here. Because we are going to want to build some more boats too. Fishing dock is going to be nearly completed. Just getting a few more resources over here. And then once those resources show up, then we'll be able to hire some more fishermen. And that's going to give us even more food, obviously. Uh, stored thatch. We're still waiting for four more thatch. That just got delivered. Beautiful. We need the worker to come in over here. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that name. Once he comes over here and he, uh, he finishes construction on the fishing dock, then we can go ahead. Let's order three boats. We're going to, oh, no, 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 no. We're going to go ahead and we're going to hire three more fishermen. And then we do have, we have the four fishermen over here. So you know what? Let's hire four fishermen over here. 
That way, if somebody's resting, we still have a fourth person able to come over here and do a little bit of fishing. And of course, now it is still winter time, so we cannot uh, complete the boat. But that's something that's going to happen once uh, springtime shows up. Overall, our town is doing pretty well. However, uh, we are kind of struggling with some of these families running out of money. And right on cue, family is out of money. Wealth, point two. Uh, another family over here is out of money. Uh, they do have a little bit of flour though, so that's good. Another family is out of money. Oh, it's the same family. All right, well, you know what? I think this, this upcoming year, we're finally going to be able to use the plows, which we're going to be doing wheat, wheat, and more wheat. <laughs> Plenty of wheat. You know what? We should probably convert one of these over to potato. So let's do that. We're going to make one of these potatoes over here. How are we looking on the cow shed? We do have 15. So I think we're at four, right? Or four. We're at 14. So we do have a cow who is now four months. So we do have babies. So once we get this up to the limit of 20, we're going to be able to build the slaughterhouse and we're going to be able to um we're going to be able to actually get some meat in here. These guys are finally going to be able to eat some meat and potatoes for a change. And they're looking good. They have water stored, they have the hay stored, and then once the hay kind of runs low, there's plenty of hay right around here to kind of deliver to the cow shed. So we're looking good. None of those cows should starve or anything like that. And then also next year, we're going to be increasing our fishing, popu uh, fishing population, our, uh, our amount of fish that we kind of produce. Uh, so our town should be fed. Now it's just a matter of, um, you know what? All, this, all these people are running out of food. Let's increase their wages a little bit more. Yeah, we'll increase their wages just a little bit more. We're not going to mess with the rent. We're not going to mess with the food prices, but we will allow them to get paid a little bit more. And then hopefully that'll kind of fix our situation. But anyways, guys, that is the end of the episode. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the series. If you are, you know what to do. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you're new to the channel, welcome. We've got Ostriv. We've got Motorsport Manager. We've got Airport CEO going Lots and lots of good videos coming up uh, in the future as well. So, highly suggest you guys subscribe. If you do, thank you very much. I'll see you guys on another video. Until then, I hope you guys have a great day. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.